My kind of way of living is not trying to live in regrets. I think everything you do takes you a step further to being the best you can. You make a mistake, you gave it a go, and you must try it again. And there's always going to be a way out. It's just being patient with it or learning the patience. I'm always learning. I think um, I'm always kind of finding people that are, you know, that are inspiring me every day. And, and I always felt it was just healing. Music is a healing um, process for me and I'm, I'm sure it kind of really takes people through their story um, at times when they're by themselves or when they're with a group of people or a crowd. You feel this kind of permission to just be you. I think that's why I'm so close with music. That's why I'm, I have so much faith in it and I put everything into it. To, um, you know, in the, in the 15 years that I've been working, my way of, of presenting music or, or performing or singing. So, uh, you know, I, I have so much respect for it and, you know, and, and we'll never lose that because it's always given me something back. Jess had this incredible energy, which really seems to come across and she also seemed to be a very sort of authentic person. And that sense of vitality and, and, and sort of optimism as well is something that I really wanted to get across in the portrait. We talked about art and music and how you sort of represent that in a sort of visual medium. So it, it was sort of collaborative very much in terms of those initial conversations. The photographic shoot was quite a yeah, simple setup, really. It just had a sort of large black backdrop, and, and the, the photographs were black and white, and they were just taken on a, this old 35 millimeter camera of mine, so it was all very low tech and quite simple lighting. So it really makes it a much more sort of human interaction, I think, in terms of the relationship between the photographer and the sitter. There's not a lot of sort of technology or other sort of imagery in the way. The technique that I was using was the double exposure where you um, run the same film through the camera twice so you effectively take two images and one overlaps on top of the other. There's not a great degree of control that you have as to which image sort of overlays with what and how the two images combine. I kind of really enjoy that sort of element of chance and the sort of unexpected sort of nature of that process. In the past when I've done portraits in this using this method I've probably taken maybe four or five rolls but because this was you know the stakes are a little bit higher I took about uh, 14 rolls um, so <laughs> yeah. I had really hard working parents who just wanted their children to you know succeed in life and do what they love and have a good life but also a giving one so that those values and those traditions and culture could be carried on. So I think all of those kind of really come into play when I make that a part of my job. There's nothing like being a part of your community and possibly making a difference just by being yourself and making a pathway for the next generation or for people to come who want to leave their mark and uh, tell their stories. It's pretty, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I really wanted to present this multifaceted perspective of, of Jessica. We talked about this idea of chaos and stillness and how she manages to stay quite sort of centred within herself um, despite this sort of crazy lifestyle and I think she was about to head off to Eurovision. So with one of the layers of the images she'd be quite still and looking directly at the camera and then with one of the other layers she was sort of doing more movement. The portrait process has been different, I guess, working with David on just having a bit of a play, having a bit of movement, really creating those layers of personality and that's what we're channeling in the studio, is being strong, being loving to yourself and kind, but also being wild. I think there's nothing like just being yourself and finding those little things that either make you tick or challenge you or make you feel uh, so alive is, you know, what we're creating in this portrait. I hope the portrait will convey Jessica in a way that there's this really strong sense of 
inner confidence and, and strength and directness that the, the viewer can connect with. But at the same time, I wanted to have some other more sort of mysterious or intangible quality to the, to the portrait, which represents something a little bit more emotional, which relates more to her singing, you know, which does, I think, connect with you in a slightly more sort of intangible and almost a, a physical way sort of cuts through. So I'm hoping that those two sort of aspects will be present. Yeah, I, 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 wow, <laughs> there's so many things we could go for days. Um, but I think honestly, to really take pride in themselves, I really hope this photo projects their inner spirit, their inner souls, their courage. I want it to almost be like a mirror image of them in the sense that they can do whatever uh, they put their mind to. You know, I think it is about being brave and, and trying to find whatever that confidence within you that's so deep down there, be kind to it and it'll come up every time you do it and you try. Thank you, thank you. That's crazy, how crazy is that? It's super awesome. <laughs> wow.